Welcome back guys. Today we are going to compound a polyxmer gel. Okay. So for this we have less than isopropyl palmitate. That is in short it called a lips and ethoxy diglycol. And we have a mock drug has and we have a lure logs and lure tips over here. So and we have two 20 ml syringes. So this is it what we need. Okay, let me tell you again. So less than isopropyl palmitate. It's also known as uh, hexadecanic acid isopropyl ester. So, what is the functional category of this? It is is used as an emollient or as an oleaginous vehicle, which is used as a skin penetrant and also as a solvent. Okay, that is the use of uh, less than isopropyl palmitate. So, ethoxy diglycol. It is a solvent basically. And the last one is the polaxmer, which is in the refrigerator right now and the reason we have to keep that polyxmer in the refrigerator is at a room temperature it will be it will be a semi solid so the functional category is it is a lubricant uh, also it is used as a solubilizing agent and emulsifying agent and also has a, a tablet lubricant and a wetting agent also has a dispersing agent so okay the first step what we're going to do is we are going to the, remove the plunger from the back of the syringe okay and we are going to cap this so the second thing is we are going to load back load the drug what we have here okay so the drug is 0 0.2 grams of the mock drug what we have taken so for convenience I have used a weighing paper rather than a weighing board okay so remember that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use ethoxy diglycol it's uh, a solvent as I mentioned earlier so the ethoxy glycol I'm going to take one ml of this and to this so that I will dissolve my drug okay and what we can do is we can directly add less than isopropyl palmitate that is 4 point for dissolving the drug in ethoxy glycol I'm adding the less than isopropyl palmitate that is ellipse again I'm backloading this this okay alright and now I'm going to put the plunger back alright hear the click sound now shake a little bit well so that you have a you know nice mixture and now flip it upside down like this okay hold your finger on top of the tip of your syringe and slowly push your plunger up okay the other way to do is you know use your, your tip okay loosen it a little bit and push it slowly alright make sure you remove all the bubbles okay you should not have any bubbles in this syringe okay now I'm closing my first syringe with this Leo tip okay so this is I have approximately 5.4 ml in this syringe so how much ml do I need to QS to 20 ml I need around 14.5 ml right so I'm going to fill this syringe with 14.5 ml of polax in this syringe we have the drug which is solubilized with ethoxy diglycol and also I have mixed less than isopropyl palmitate so the total the total volume in this particular syringe is approximately 5.5 ml because 1 ml of ethoxy diglycol and 4.4 ml of less than isopropyl palmitate right so in the second syringe what I did is I filled this with 14.5 ml of pluronic so this is pluronic uh, I got it from the refrigerator so what I'm going to do is the next step is I'm going to connect the lure tip okay I'm going to connect this with the lure tip this is how you connect this lure tip and carefully open the other lure tip and connect this with a lure lock okay this is how you're connecting so these are the two syringes that you connected back back to back okay it make sure this is tight and don't over tight it because you'll flip it and it may break okay and the next step is what you do okay in the next slowly hold your hand hold this bottom syringe with one hand and the top syringe with the one other hand okay now slowly push your bottom hand down holding gently holding the top one and the bottom syringe push it down and again the same thing flip it upside down now hold the bottom syringe tightly and the top syringe gently and push it down 
okay can you see this the color is already changing and do the same thing repeatedly for three four times okay because of the sheer stress that's caused while passing across the lures okay we will have a nice gel that is it so we're done with the gel and what we're going to do is we are going to connect this lure tip back again to the syringe and label it and dispense it